the National Entrepreneurship Development Company Limited is in the process of trying to recover millions of dollars from people who took loans and have not paid. During a sitting of the Public Accounts Enterprises Committee looking into the audited records of NEDCO between 2008 to 2014, it was disclosed that some 77% of loans have not been repaid from about 4,000 people. That amounts to $94 million. So far, the company has been able to recover $1.5 million. The company wants to get back as much money as it can, and to do so, it has acquired the services of A.V. Knowles debt collectors. Whatever security instruments we have, we try to encash them. And now that we have a collection agency, there's that reputational risk that clients wish to avoid. So by going behind them, and having their information published through those debt rich, the credit bureaus, et cetera, they are now forced to repay the debt, where either through embarrassment or through their inability to obtain credit elsewhere. Chairman of NEDCO, Clary Ben, said those who have not repaid the money might have been of the view it was a grant, hence their decision. But he said that's not the case that we have an external collecting agency that has been going after these people. And as the heat is being turned on, because it will impair their credit rating as they go to other financial institutions for financial accommodation, they would want to clean their tracks. Meetings have been held with some of those persons who owe the company money where that information was revealed. That within more recent times, as appropriate systems have been introduced and put into practice in terms of the coverage of these new facilities, there has been a major reduction in the level of delinquency. Before disclosing this information, Mr. Ben said an audit of the company was done by PricewaterhouseCoopers. PwC said NEDCO as is is not sustainable. Its mandate is not being fulfilled and there is need to transform it. These issues are being addressed by the current board and its dream is to become an entity which does not depend on government for subventions. Well, the internal auditing manager at NEDCO, Vidya B. Harilal, said when reviewing the documents at the company, she did not see any fraudulent activity. Usually the internal auditor role, the internal auditor does not set out to find fraudulent activity. However, because it's a, a responsibility of management to decide, design the internal controls in such a way that such activity will be discovered in the normal operations. Internal auditor, though, is required to design audit programs that might highlight if such activity is occurring. And the internal auditor is supposed to be aware of the fraud red flags, let's say, That's right? right? Um, to be able to uncover or highlight these types of things. Ms. Biharlal said, however, the 77% of delinquent borrowers were under the radar. We have begun looking at the area by first performing compliance type audits at um, June, assessing the loan process to ensure that what is, a, what is going on in assessing loan and clients and what's documented on the file is in fact according to the policy of the organization. 